Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Chem Corona. In this video, we are going to discuss antimicrobial agents. What are antimicrobial agents? Antimicrobial agents are the chemicals which act against microorganisms and they prevent infection due to microorganisms. Let us discuss some of the terms which are very commonly used in antimicrobial agents. What is antiseptic? Antiseptics are chemical substances which are able to kill and to prevent the growth of microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, protozoa, etc. And they are generally applied to living tissues. An ideal antiseptic should destroy bacteria, fungi, viruses without causing any harm. Second is disinfectant. Disinfectant is a chemical agent which destroys microorganisms on inanimate objects like instruments, equipments, etc. They prevent the infection by destruction of pathogenic microorganisms. Disinfectants are used for home and hospital sanitation and disinfection can be achieved by heat, chemicals or UV radiation. They do not kill microorganisms but they reduce them to a level which is not harmful to health. Germicide. These are substances which kill microorganisms. For example, they may be either bactericide or they may be either fungicide. What is bactericide? Bactericide is a chemical agent which is capable of killing bacteria but not its spores. Whereas Fungicide is a chemical agent which is capable of killing fungi, including their spores. Bacteriostatic agents. These are the chemical substances which act by inhibiting the growth of microorganisms. Sterilization. Sterilization is a process by which an object is rendered completely free from microorganisms. It involves Use of chemical or mechanical processes like heat, radiation, filtration or chemical treatment. Sanitation. Disinfectants that are used to maintain general public health standards are termed as sanitizers. Preservative. Preservative is a chemical agent which is used to prevent microbial spoilage of preparation. It reduces microbial population. To acceptable levels. There are certain ideal properties of antimicrobial agent. An antimicrobial agent should possess the following characteristics. First, it should possess antiseptic germicide and not bacteriostatic activity. If bacteriostatic, then they may resume growth and they may not cause infection. Second, it should have rapid onset and sustained activity. Third, it should show no systemic toxicity. Fourth, it should have broad spectrum activity. Fifth, it should have favorable lipid water distribution coefficient. Sixth, it should not cause any local cellular damage. Seventh, it must possess good therapeutic index. Antimicrobial agents act by three mechanisms. The inorganic antimicrobial agents are classified into three types based on their mechanism of action. First is oxidation, second is halogenation and third is protein precipitation. The oxidizing antiseptics, they react with the sulfhydryl group of bacteria which is having a specific function in the pathogen and leads to the formation of disulfide bridge. This chemical reaction leads to conformational changes of the protein which alter its normal function. The destruction or change in the function in specific proteins is responsible for death or destruction of 
microbes. During this reaction, the oxidizing antimicrobial agents they get reduced. Non-metals and certain types of anions they act by this mechanism. Compounds which act by this mechanism include iodophores like iodine and iodine solutions, chlorine and chlorophores like chlorinated lime, Dakin solution and sodium hypochlorite solution. Other oxidizing agents such as potassium permanganate solution and hydrogen peroxide also act by oxidation mechanism. The second mechanism by which antimicrobial agents act is halogenation. The compounds which act by this mechanism include sodium hypochlorite, chlorinated lime, etc. These antiseptics they provide the chlorine atom to the peptide linkage of the microbial enzyme and leads to the destruction of the function of specific proteins. The substitution of the chlorine atom for the hydrogen changes or weakens the hydrogen bond forces which are responsible for proper conformation of protein molecule. The change in the protein conformation leads to destruction of microbes. All the pathogens are containing protein molecules which are made up of amino acid sequences. These amino acid sequences they are connected through peptide. The third mechanism of action is by protein precipitation. In protein precipitation there is interaction between the microbial enzyme with the metallic ions having large or strong electrostatic forces. The complexation between the metal ion and protein leads to changes in the radical properties of the protein or precipitating the protein. Thank you for patient listening and happy learning. Like, share and subscribe my channel. Kem Corona.